Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. I'm Sandra Palmer. Uh, we're using Sandra's uh, new Christmas present today to film because I didn't bring my video camera with me. So we're uh, filming in style on a posh iPhone 7. Yeah, not so I got the 7, kids got the 8. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've uh, we've just come to Cardiff. I've got to weigh in a little bit of gold and now that I've been buying in over December. Um, and there's uh, one or two dealers down here that I know and they'll have some lovely bits for me. But what we're going to do, we're going to show you um, a little bit of the pumping station, our an local antique centre, as we walk around. But we're going to be very quiet in the filming, guys, because we're not supposed to film in there. But we're so going to try. It's going to be secret filming, so it's not going to be a lot of talking. Um, but hopefully, you know, you'll get to enjoy, have a walk around. Sandra can take you off for a little bit, show you some of her bits. Yeah, I'm going to try anyway, guys. You'll get try and, to, we'll try and sneak off, we will. <laughs> you'll get to see the Bengal lion that they got there. He's an eight foot tall lion, uh, or eight yeah, foot we'll long. We'll try and get some photographs of him. Yeah, eight yeah. foot long and about five foot tall he is. He's spectacular. They've had him for as long as I've been doing it, so they've had him 20 years. There's some amazing pieces. This is the antiques and interiors or the pumping station in Cardiff, guys. It's three, four, five floors, wherever it is. Not sure exactly how many it'd work out that. Should we do my air ready to go in? Do um, things, really good day out. Expensive. It is expensive, guys. But there's a few dealers in there that are willing to trade and do good deals. Um, I've got four or five hundred pounds worth of gold on me to just weigh in. That is pure rubbish scrap. Um, so I'm going to weigh that in today and I'm going to spend some of it back out onto some saleable stock. I have a shopping list of what I need to buy. I need to buy some Vesta cases, I need to buy a miner's checks, things like that. So we'll see. And just smalls and pretties. So we'll see how we go. Fingers crossed we'll get there guys and if nothing else you'll enjoy having a little look around the pumping station. On the other hand guys, Christmas has now come and gone and there's my earrings. Look, what can I go? Go spoil them. Look, 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 bracelets, and I got rings as well, look. Look at that. Well, somebody else got a new bomber jacket, but underneath that bomber jacket, he has something special. So I now have merch, guys. As my boy calls it, you got merch. merch. I had it made for him, look at that. <laughs> so I now have merch. So anyway, we're gonna leave it there for now. Um, we'll Excited give you, to win, we We'll are. film you as much as we can now when we're walking round. Sorry guys. <laughs> Not good. Long Christmas. Um, yeah. And then when we get home then later on I will show you some of the bits we've bought um, and then wrap it up. Mm. But all in all we're going to have a nice day out. Are we going to go for somewhere for food? Yes. Somebody's birthday is coming up. Tonight. Yeah. Where? Tomorrow. It's tomorrow. He was born on the 1st of January. New Year's Day. Yeah, so we're off out. We're I have get told some... him already. Oh, you have, though? Yeah, I told him. We're I told him in and... uh, the video that's going out today or tomorrow. Okay. We're going to go and have some have some food. It's New Year's Eve and we're out antique shopping because that's what we love. Definitely. <laughs> so we're going to go have some food. But before we go in for food, I'm going to show you the stock I've bought. Then we'll go in for food, show you the food, um, and then we'll wrap it up. So, sounds about right. Yeah, it does, yeah. And it's not a McDonald's today, guys. It ain't McDonald's. Uh, really, you want to go McDonald's? No, I was saying thank God for that. Oh, my God. Thank God for that. Do you know, I honestly <laughs> thought he was pouting. I nearly... Oh! I broke a charm. Mm -hmm. I have. I've ripped one off my bracelet. You about it's it. Right, it's only better. You haven't lost it. What is that? It's the boat. Uh, the, yeah. Uh, no, the Aladdin's lamp. Um. The link of come loose. Again. Right. Anyway, guys. Going to leave it there for a minute. I we'll see you soon. Him. I'm no, I'm nowhere near. Look at that. Now look at the gap. She's too rough, she is, guys. She's ripping them off with she's Did catching them. <laughs> See you soon. Bye. Just giving you a little look around in the pump house today, guys. Me and uh, Sandra have come down for a day out. Hi. Show them the way in now. This is our closest antique centre, Cardiff City Centre.
as you can see a total different type of layout to my shop gotta show you a lion though guys this is spectacular He's about eight foot long. Isn't he superb, guys? Absolutely amazing. Go jump in the photo with him. Go somebody and I'll get him <gasps> in the picture. Can you get a pout in? <laughs> Look at the size of his head compared to Sandra. Breathing in all sorts behind our guys now. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I found Hellraiser and I'm going to show him Hellraiser. I bet he would have had the Chucky dolls you bought for Bradley and I. Yeah, Do you think it'd suit me? Let's have a look. <laughs> You'd fit. How quiet we are. I know we are super quiet. I, mean. I don't know if we love the film down here, so we're being quiet. <laughs> we're slightly annoyed. But we're advertising the pump house anyway, aren't we? Yes, so I love oh wow, know. look at that Chinese piece. Yeah. That's a nice Chinese vase. What have they described that as? Let's have a look see. Hand painted Chinese vase, 48 pounds, was obviously 20th century. That money. Still a really good value for money. Hand painted Chinese porcelain well size for 48 pounds. Minden. This looks very much like Minden. Sand. Play the piano then. Yeah. Oh, look at that for a Charlotte recharger. Wow. Well, How much is that? See if you can see the price on that charger. Oh, sound. Okay. That's spectacular. <laughs> That's going to be Charlotte Reed. It's on your side over there. It's hard. I see it. Crown de Carl, Charlotte recharger, 110. <laughs> yeah. You in a nutshell. Try and get more side of your It's a Georgian rum right at the back there, guys. Uh, 18th century, 18, uh, 1790, 1810. And another bit there, 48 pounds. The one thing that I have noticed in this particular room, you can't get around the room, you fight in the furniture yeah. and the bits are literally just chucked everywhere. I 
big eyes around the day in her life through our eyes. Dear, did the pump out? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I've had a little some stock, which I'll show you. Yeah, definitely. You want to go show him that fish you left? Yeah. Left for his bay. Can he call? Open till four, sand. Half day, is it? Yeah. Right, take him for, for a walk and show him the fish, okay? Stunning. Absolutely superb. Look at him on guys. Oh guys, this this one's closed, but I'd love to be in here. This is my type of stuff. This is my type of little place that I'd love to look at, but unfortunately the door's closed. And it's a shame because, <laughs> to be honest with you, I'd love to be in there just for five minutes. So many different things and childhood toys that I could be handling, bringing back some memories. My little tad devastated is closed. Look at the pram. Can you see the pram? Look. Sorry guys, I'm doing it all the door film on. Absolutely lovely. I love that little I love that little area. And of course, there you go. They got all 007 as well. Yeah. Fair play, they got some nice stuff here. Yeah, cabinet as well. I can actually look at the cabinet and see what they've got in here. And they've got Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Of course, she's new after the moment. A Pikachu. My boy Caden loves Pikachu. Oh, look at these. Nintendos. Dad used to remember playing on these when I was a child. I really did. Is that, is that aliens? No, it's pumpkin head, apparently. Oh, I like aliens, I do, guys. The alien saga is definitely the big thing for me at the moment. Sorry, I didn't move. You can see me in there. I thought that was an alien, but apparently not. It's pumpkin head. And they got Keanu Reeves in the background. Oh, there's some nice stuff here. It's a shame I can't get in the shop. I'm on a bit of a pout. Hmm. Should I look through the last What's this? Oh, Star Wars. 
<laughs> Wake up, look at that. It's Mr. T. He's got more jewelry on than me. That's not important. That's so not funny. I'll have to have a look to see where I can take it to the shop, really, right? G.I. Joe. Yeah, yeah, okay, thank you. Oh, look at that. Now, this is an area that is fabulous. I'm absolutely in love with this area. It's closed. Only been looking through the door. It's a nice selection of reproduction Tiffany lumps, guys, all stained glass. Hey, guys, you professional going on. Look at the money. 130. There's a dragonfly one. How much is that? 35 on Quite the turtle. So you didn't have a good buy. Sandra yeah. bought one of them out of my shop for £20. Pound. 15. See? 15 pounds, see? Yes. So, aren't I cheap? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the same thing. We are going up the stairs. Okay. Go see what we can see. Guys, by the way, these stairs are like really, really high. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. I know there's quite a few people watching this film that would be dying to be in here. What did you say? Dorothy would love to be here? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> definitely. Thirties. Full room of Art Deco, but I couldn't film it. There was a man in there. But it was Art Deco coming out to yours. What do you say? Cold, slightly overcrowded sand. Huh? Definitely. Oh, look at that. Look. And penguins. You're not obsessed much, are you, about penguins? I'm obsessed with the bloody penguins. Let me throw them in the love. Sorry. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Big ass frosky. Can't fault it, can you? Christmas week out hunting in antique centres. Look at that. Oh, the that, cannon. That, look at the, the soldiers. The with soldiers the with their knives. Yeah. That'd be gorgeous in my living room. How much is it? I don't know. I didn't look. I was afraid to move it. It didn't even go down the moment. 30. Oh, I'll wait till one comes in and we'll talk. Oh, thanks, love. Hi, it's a safe, yeah. Glass. It will be, yeah, one day. Mm, nice one. Oh, that's a nice clock. Yeah, wouldn't my mother Woods and Son. Mm hmm? Woods and Son makers. That's what you want to aim for, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. By July, guys, by July. <laughs> My perfect time to wait. Yeah, it's, uh, this one's not me, it's more upcycling. Yeah, it's upcycling, but it's still nice. I found a Mr. T in here, though. A Mr. T? Yeah. You see, they do me, guys. It's all trains and that down there. And Avengers, but they're um, Harry Potter. Harry Potter, yeah. Oh. How much are these signs then? Twenty pounds for the signs. Come on. No, I was thinking Daniel. I'm not that into Harry Potter, but Daniel is. Oh, okay. 
Daniel would have loved to see that. Yeah, okay, Sam, guys, the birthday's coming up. You see something I left you on it? Any flowers for you? <laughs> Well, guys, what do you think? That's our local antique centre. Sorry, we were a bit quiet, guys. Bit we were a bit quiet cool. because we weren't supposed to film in there, so we've done it secretly. So there wasn't a lot of talking going on, I know. And the film was a bit skew with. At least you came on a little hour out with us, innit? That's all that matters. Our little reclamation yard, salvage yard, whatever you want to call it, with a bit of antiques thrown in. Some beautiful stuff in here today, but some of the prices are astronomical. They seen my fish. I didn't say what it was and everything. I didn't look at the label. The fish, the fish, the fish she was looking at was a Victorian centerpiece. It was a ram's horn or a horn of an animal. It um, looked like it's some Chinese carp or mythical fish with silver plate in bowl and mount. That's what basically she loves. Okay guys, so I'm back at the um, shop. I'm going to finish the video I started a couple of days ago with Sandra. I'll show you some of the bits I bought. I had this lovely little display case that I'm going to use somewhere in the shop for putting some bits of um, quality silver or something in. I need to somehow raise it up by about 12 inches. I may make a box for it to stand on. Um, so that is going to go where this stand is here. I don't know where I'm going to move that yet. But that will then go there. Um, opening inwards to me, obviously. Um, I paid £100, guys. But for the entire lot you see in this video today, it wasn't any in individual piece. I done a job lot deal with another dealer. Um, so obviously this beautiful display case is part of it. We come across then is a beautiful large bell metal school bell. It was 20th century one, but uh, it's nice. It's early 20th, looking at it. I had a little bit of Dresden, 1900s porcelain, hand painted. A little ribbon plate or cabinet plate. We had a beautiful little carved soapstone Buddha. Love dogs. I always managed to sell really well. We so we have a Scotch. Scotch Terriers, Scotty Terriers then, uh, door knocker, probably from the 20s or 30s, but dogs really do sell and I won't struggle really. Moving along then, I had an onyx and brass paperweight celebrating, why are you not zooming in, celebrating the Battle of Waterloo. So you have the rampant lion there. Um, just a nice little paperweight, perfect for a gent's desk. Don't know why that wouldn't focus in, guys. We move on to a really nice enameled Vesta case for Cardiff. Why isn't it? That might be a bit better. So there we have, um, it's quite a nice one, it's EPNS. But um, should still be 20, 30 pound, no problem at all. I have a collector for miner's lamp guys and checks and here we have a uh, south western division area miner's check so that'll be uh, going, that probably won't even go to the shop that'll be sold privately now when I phone him later I have a really nice Victorian yellow metal because I've got to test it morning brooch that's all hair in there No, it does look gold, but it could be uh, pinchback or roll gold. So I'm gonna really have to look at it, but it is really nice. So a nice little Victorian morning brooch. 
had a couple of minor necklaces. You know, we've got a little fish with, set with amber there on a sterling chain, a sterling pendant. Got a little crucifix. We got a little uh, Macintosh design pendant. And a nice little mm, cubic zirconia ring, I'd call it. There's probably just a bit of cut glass. I don't know why this camera is struggling to focus today, guys. So all in all, as you can see, the for the hundred pound outlay, it's not bad at all. That case, I would have paid twenty, thirty pound for that to use in the shop with my eyes closed. So let's take thirty pound off the bill and call it seventy. This bell is going to be thirty-five pound. The plate's going to be about fifteen or twenty pound. The Buddha is let's say a tenner. So we're already up to let's say thirty-five, forty, fifty, sixty. Talking maybe 20 for the uh, dogs, so 80. Another 20 for the uh, Waterloo paperweight, so there's 100. 25 on the um, Cardiff Vesta, so there's 125. Another, if it's not gold, 20 pound, 25 pound on the morning brooch, there's 150. 15 on the check, 165. Then we have three really nice necklaces and a ring, which are going to be a minimum of 10 or 15 pounds each. So one, two, three, four. Let's say another 50 quid for those four. We'd have 200 pounds back for my 70 quid outlay. Not bad for a little Christmas, uh, mid Christmas and New Year day out. There we have it, guys. Um, bored during Christmas week. Um, I went down, scrapped a bit of gold, paid some bills, um, what can I say, went down, saw a dealer friend of mine while I was down there, bought a few bits off him, he was happy to have £100 in his pocket, I'm happy with what I've bought, um, I'm going to more than double my money and that cabinet comes in free and clear then. Really pleased with the day's buy-in, um, what can I say? Shop's back open normal, it's January the 2nd uh, today, I don't know when the film will be aired. Um, but yeah, as you're away by now, I'm already on my diet, I'm doing really well on my vegetarian diet. <laughs> Shockingly, I survived my birthday with no cake, uh, even though Sandra did buy me a cake, thank you very much Sandy. And no chocolate, no junk, no, no meat. It's been interesting but I got there guys I really did um, got through the worst day of the year which was my birthday now plain sailing for the next month or two on this vegetarian diet and see how much weight I can lose what's going to be interesting is to see how I manage to cope with not picking the crisps or chocolate or running up the fish shop if I'm hungry or bored that's going to be the challenge especially when Sandra comes down with gravy chips and scrumps <laughs> <I'd be if. laughs> anyway guys um, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas I hope you all had a wonderful New Year didn't get too drunk, didn't get too hungover um, for those of you with other beliefs I hope you had a happy holidays and I'll leave it there for now thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed if you have I would appreciate a like and a share um, if you're new to the channel please subscribe and leave me a comment to let me know you've subscribed and I will give you a thumbs up. You'll find me on my own website antiquesarena.co.uk and antiquesarena.com You'll find me on Facebook, I have a page and a group Antiques Arena and of course you can come to the shop um, It's in the UK guys, South Wales, I'm sorry if you're overseas 78 Oxford Street, Mountain Ash South Wales, postcode Charlie Fox, 453 Hotel Bravo Thanks for watching guys Bye for now.